Thank you very much. Um, I have a question from uh, that I think uh, kind of jumped out at me. You've mentioned how valuable it can be to rewrite our storylines since yes. we are ultimately the co-creators of our reality. So I'm motivated by what we can learn from the stories of others. Can you tell us a bit about the storylines of the Yayao people that they create for themselves? Oh, thank you so much for that delicious question. Yes. So first of all, we would like to, in a sense, compliment the questioner with adding in their sharing that they are excited about learning from other people's storylines. Just that right there is a wonderful attitude, which also in general softens the perspective that anyone might have towards life. And that right there is an overlap with how we as Yahyel are choosing to look at life as well and all that we encounter in it. First of all, we are excited to learn from other people's storylines. And it is because of that, that we can look with compassion and love and with a smile at whatever storylines you on earth are co-creating right now and choosing to write for yourselves because we see the beauty in all of them. And we learn from the broad, immense bandwidth of available perspectives that you are choosing to explore on your version of reality and particularly when it comes to the amount of polarity and contrast that you weave into your storylines and how incredibly magnificent you have all become in training yourselves to either be consistent in that or allow for such wonderful plot twists of transformation to occur and if you will every single time you choose to allow such plot twists of transformation to occur in your storyline it warms our hearts and it propels our joy for more interaction with you and we see simultaneously with that rewriting of storylines that some of you are choosing to do we see multidimensionally the jump or shift you could say from the timeline that a person may have been choosing to be focused on previously towards the timeline that they're signing up for quote unquote this is all of course very fluid so we're just using the translation as we can find it right now in the database of the channel so the new timeline that they're quote unquote signing up for in that moment as they're allowing a transformation to take place and we see the vibrational shift and we see the versions of earth that suddenly become available to them and we see and really not exaggerating here we see the miracles that can then take place for them in that version of reality in that timeline so we in our writing of our own storylines are always reaching for the highest energy frequency version of anything to express itself into. And we understand that our perspective defines, our definitions, our beliefs define that energy frequency wavelength. So we play games on our world where children already, we start really early with this look at a puzzle or a challenge a quest you could say we even lay out routes of adventures for them with challenges built in and we play games going back and forth either in couples or little groups where we train that skill of finding the highest energy frequency perspective to a particular circumstance. So it is something that comes rather naturally to us because we are telepathically connected. So that takes away a big load of the communicational challenges that you often experience in your version of reality. But even on top of that, we make a game out of finding the 
best feeling, highest energy frequency perspective to anything that challenges us all the time. So we're actually having a lot of fun with that. And it is cause for laughter and giggles whenever we are presented with something that we really didn't expect. So this is how we write, quote unquote, our own storylines. And of course, we are constantly aware of how fluid all of this is, how easy it is really, because we're so used to knowing that it is easy and you can choose to know that for yourselves as well, how easy it is to rewrite if you choose to.